So, there are four types of one-step equation that you need to be able to solve. And they look like this. Okay? These are four examples of one-step equations. Equations that require just one step to solve them. So, you can, when you're solving equations, refer back to the concept of balancing scales. Now, some people like this idea and some people don't. The concept is that if I was going to look at x plus 5 equals 7 as a balancing scales problem, what it means is that in order to balance the scales on one side of my scales, I have x plus 5. So you can think of x as being maybe a bag. And then 5 could be 5 little bits. Then on the right hand side I've got 7 bits. Okay? And the, the scales are perfectly balanced. The left hand side is exactly the same weight as the right hand side and they remain level. Now I need to work out what the weight of this bag is, this x. Now, if I take away one of the bits from both sides, then they are of equal weight, and so the balance, the scales, still balance. So I can take away one of the bits from both sides. Okay, well that seems reasonable enough. Well let's keep doing that. Let's take another one away, and another one away. Okay, so the scales still balance. Take one from that side, take one from that side, so the scales still balance. Then I'm going to take the remaining two from that side, so I take the remaining two from that side. And what I have left is that the bag is by itself. And that's really what I want. I want the bag by itself, because then I can just look at the right-hand side and think, right, well, that bag is equal to two bits, or just two in our case. So x equals two. Let's reorder this a bit. So x is equal to 2 in this case. And what happened was that I took 5 bits from both sides. And so I take 5 from this side of the equation, and I must take 5 from this side. So 7 take away 5 is 2. Now if you don't like that, you can also see it as something... So something in this box plus 5 is 7. And the only number that could be in that box must be 2. You can see it that way. So if you then think, well, something, take away 8, must be 10, then that something must be 18. Because 18 take away 8 is 10. Over here, you've got 3x equals 12. So three lots of something must be equal to 12. Now, once again, you could see this as scales, if you like. So you've got these three bags of x on this side, and that's equal to 12 little bits on the right-hand side. Now, if you needed to work out what x was, then you could divide both sides by 3, because that will eliminate one of those x's, so one of those 4, and one of those x's, and one of those 4, leaving you with just x is equal to 4. So because we've got 3 lots of something is 12, the something must be 4. 3 4's are 12. And the final one step looks like this. This is the one that often confuses people the most. Something divided by 4 is 2. So if you're looking for a number that when you divide it by 4 is 2, that's exactly the same as looking for a number that is the product of both 4 and 2. So you can multiply those two numbers together to make 8, because 8 divided by 4 is 2. So these are four examples of one-step equations. You must be able to solve these one-step equations because they only get harder from here on out. 
and we're going to use these ideas in order to solve more complicated equations.